so we have this patient uh, he had oral submucous fibrosis okay there is uh, almost nil mouth opening and also he had a uh, growth in the left side of the uh, buccal mucosa the growth was benign so we have to ex excise that lesion and also do the fibrotomy procedure and we had done the fibrotomy bilaterally left and also on the right side and you can see this this scar mark this is the nasolabial flap where we need to harvest and that is put inside the oral cavity you can see here the right side of the buccal mucosa you can see a small tissue yes so that is the nasolabial flap of the right side already mucosalization has started and on the left side you can see there is the there is the nasolabial flap okay left side yes this is the nasolabial flap this is vital and this is the area this is the entry point of the flap this is the entry point of the flap if i put the mirror you can see this is the entry point of the flap okay the entry point and also here also here this is the entry point of the flap okay entry point of the flap so we need to uh, detach this pedicle detach this pedicle this area this pedicle and here this pedicle and separate both uh, oral layer and skin layer we usually do it after 21 days okay we will do the surgery after 21 days and we will do the uh, this detaching surgeries and we will take this skin part outside so this fistula will be closed this fistula will be closed and intraoral area will be separate so this is how we do the uh, surgery for oral submucous fibrosis and we can give a good result of mouth opening this mouth opening will increase due to pain and this fibrosed areas uh, he is having some some uh, difficulties in opening mouth com in complete range and he also need to do mouth opening exercises exercises for uh, for almost a year and then we will achieve a good mouth opening for a long term okay